All right, so in these types of problems, when we are given two or more linear equations with two or more variables, we have a system of equations. So when we want to solve for the system of equations, our two main methods for solving are going to be substitution and elimination. And we are going to go over in this video the two methods. We're going to begin with the substitution method, which is a method for solving the system of equations when we take one of the variables and we isolate it to create a expression with only one variable. And then we plug that expression into our second expression. And then what we do is we create an expression with only one variable and instead of two. And then we can isolate that variable to find its value. So now let's show how we solve using the substitution method. In this case, we have x minus y equals three and two x plus y equals nine. We are going to start by isolating the x and then we will plug that x expression into our second expression for x. So in order to isolate our x from our first expression, we have x equals 3 plus y. We just added the y to both sides. All right, so now we have an expression for x with only one variable, which is y. And now we're going to plug this expression into our x value over here in our second expression. So we have two times our x, which is going to be three plus y, plus y equals nine. Now we have a linear expression with only one variable. And that means that we can solve for the value of y by isolating it. So we have to distribute first this two into our parentheses. So we have two times three, which is six, plus two times y, which is two y, plus y equals nine. Now we're going to combine our like terms, our two y and y. So we have six plus three y equals nine. Now we're going to subtract six on both sides in order to isolate the y. And so we have three y equals nine minus six, which gives us three. Now we're going to divide three on both sides in order to completely isolate our y. And we have y equal to one. Now that we know the value of y, we can plug this value into our expression for x to solve for the value of x. So we have x equals three plus y, which is our one. So three plus one gives us four. So the value of x is going to equal four. So these are our two values for our variables and that was using the substitution method. Now we're going to move on and show how to solve a system of equations using the elimination method. All right, so using the elimination method, in order to solve the system of equations, we want to add or subtract the equations from one another in order to eliminate one of the variables from the expression. And then we have a new expression with only one variable or one less variable. All right, so in this case here, we have 5x minus 3y equals 17 and x plus 3y equals negative 11. Now, as you can tell here, we have a negative 3y and a positive 3y. Now, if we added these two expressions to one another, the y's will cancel out, and then we will only be left with one variable, which is x. So let's do so. And we have 5x minus 3y plus, because we are adding the two expressions together, our second expression, which is x plus 3y equals 17 plus negative 11. All right, so now let's combine our like terms, but before we do so, we can cancel out this negative 3y and positive 3y. And what we're left with is 5x plus, plus 1x, which gives us 6x, equals 17 plus negative 11, which gives us 6. So now we have 6x equals 6, and we will divide 6 on both sides in order to isolate the x. And now we have x equals one. Now that we know the value of x, we can choose which one of the two expressions that we have in the beginning in order to find the y by plugging in the x value. So if we plug it into our first expression here, we have five times x, which is our one now, minus three times y equals 17. Now we are going to simplify. We have five times one, which is five minus three y equals 17. And now we're going to subtract five on both sides and we have negative three y equals 17 minus five, which gives us 12. Now we're going to divide negative three on both sides in order to isolate the y completely. And now we have y equals 12 divided by negative three, which gives us a negative four because a negative divided by a positive gives us a negative. 
So the value of x is 1 and the value of y is negative 4. And that was using the elimination method in order to solve the system of equations.